So I'm here with the uh, BBC Jazz Award winner, Anita Wardell. Hi. Originally from Australia, but now based in the UK, London to be precise. Anita, you've just finished recording, or is, this, is there still more to be done on it? Just finished the recording. It's going to need mixing now. And um, I'm really happy with the recording, actually. I really enjoyed it very much. And I'm really pleased with the, the tunes that I've, I've chosen for the, the new record. How would you describe it in a couple of words, the well, flavour of it? It's essentially kind of Anita Wardell scats and does her thing. But there are a few kind of, um, you know, little kind of journeys off to other areas, if you like. I've picked a few of my favourite tunes. Um, I'm really into Pat Metheny and Stevie Wonder. People, a lot, not a lot of people know that about me. Um, and I decided to choose some different repertoire, you know, to what people are used to hearing from me. And I've written some lyrics to Pat Metheny's Travels, and I've also written some lyrics to Bobby Hutchison's Mirrors. Um, we've got a couple of Brazilian tunes on there, um, and some nice Brazilian guys playing percussion and guitar. So I, th I think it's going to be a very different album to what people expect. However, at the, at the, the essence of it is still very much about what I what I do which is my love of bebop and, and improvising very good and um, in the past have you played as much of a role in you know the way it should sound or the way you'd like it to sound are um, you a producer on this record too well I think that the, we sort of like have the whole band producing do you know what I mean yes. it's like I'm very blessed with my rhythm section um, particularly Robin Aspen and Tristan Mayo who are very forward in in coming you know up with with ideas and and their advice on how to make it better um, or how to make it different or how to how to change things about. So in that regard, I'm I'm really kind of grateful for them to you know to say oh maybe try it like this or try it like that or you've done enough takes now so that's you know that's enough. But um, yeah, definitely I I produce you know myself in a way and and um, say. Did I like what I just did? I listened to it back. I didn't like it. So let's do another take. Do the guys mind? I try and get everything down in the first take with the whole band. It doesn't always work. And, you know, and so sometimes you have to do a little bit of fixing over the top. Um, I try to keep that down to a minimum if possible.